Just getting this set up. Got the noise gate and the suppression set up. That's new. Hopefully that's working. Got the noise gate and the suppression set up. That's new. Hopefully that's working. Oh wow, I'm gonna have to turn that down a little bit actually. Five decibels. Got the noise gate and the suppression set up. That's new. Hopefully that Alright. I'm gonna start a few minutes early, I think. Yeah, stream starts. My goal is to do stream in 8 to 10. But, uh. Yeah, I'll probably do a little more than that. But just as a, a minimum goal, that's, that's what it is. If I get on a little early, like right now, I can uh, I can start getting some kits set up, so I don't have to do that and stop in between.
all right getting started here cleaning up I can uh that screen on if you guys anyone here is, wants to see that I'm just uh, this is my first time using Streamlabs as opposed to OBS because uh, I had some weird bug happen earlier and as like a test stream and uh, I guess I didn't actually really stream a video but, so I'm still just I gotta learn there we go all right So this is my typical kit that I I really like to, to try running. It really gives you, like it's a huge step up in survivability, it's crazy. You know, you get the arm protection, thorax, shoulder. I mean, it's, two, it's class four, which isn't like the best, but it's got a, a good amount. This helmet is pretty sick too, especially if you wear condors too. Oh, <laughs> what's up Sips, man? Are you, uh, what are you, are you working tonight? Fifty rounds of that. That's what's up. Totally forgot about this task. Might as well just bang that in. Obtain the items. This is the one that train card not. Nah, I feel you, man. Well, I appreciate you checking me out on your during your work time there. Hopefully, hoping for some good uh. Good raids tonight. Yeah, man, I hear that. I mean, when I was uh, going through school, I worked at a laundromat, and I had a lot of time kind of sitting around. You know, I got to use it for, like, studying and stuff like that, and it was pretty boring, but, you know, whatever you got to do. Easy money, yeah. Thirty seven oh four PMC basically leg three PMCs on as a scav in an hour. Uh, I don't know. Shala while using assault twice? Oh that's not gonna happen. That could happen, but I don't really like shoreline. Ooh, a NATO scar. Well, I guess the other one's NATO too, technically, but. That's not bad. 55 scabs with SMGs. SMGs. Alright, I'll 
You know what? Let's mess with the... Uh, 3,000 USD here. there a mount that you can put on this thing for like a light and stuff? I don't remember. Forgetting. Do a little factory, a little warm up. Could be a horrible idea. Yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah, I really, I think the the last stream uh, yesterday. I don't know if you watched that one or if it was the day before. Now, um, I literally couldn't even insure something. I had like eleven thousand rubles. I mean, I had some stuff, and you know, but um terms of like stuff I would flee or whatever I didn't really have anything and I just like did a bunch of scav runs and had some killer loot and uh I've kind of changed up my my style to just like run in get in you know basically pick like a, a loot spot like a point of interest loot it up and just get out like fast in and out and it's like I mean I've got I'm sitting at three million rubles now but I, I spent one and a half on US dollars too, which I've since spent on, you know, these kits, which are not cheap. And, uh, and I spent like two million on my hideout. So it's by far the most rubles I've ever had. Now, it's just like, tar I guess, targeted looting without getting distracted. What am I looking for? Oh, I'm just going to factory, so... Keep those... Uh... Actually, I don't know if that's enough ammo I just brought in, honestly. This thing just burns ammo. But, we'll see. Can you, uh, can you hear the music, Sips? Is it, uh, my goal? I mean, that's as low as I could possibly put it. So it's just meant to be, like, a little background stuff in the menus and all that. As opposed to silence. <laughs> I'm kind of over the Tarkov music. Oh uh, yeah, that happens, man. Alright. <clears throat> First raid here, I don't know how this is gonna go.
to circle back around this way here. I tagged him at least once. I could hear that guy coming from a mile away, dude. I don't know what he was doing. About half? Wow. This ammo really just goes. how much damage I just did to that guy. I feel like I kind of, you know, I was hitting him in the legs and that thing shoots real fast. I don't know. Whatever. Headshot. 5.6A1. It looks like I had to get his helmet on stuff too. Without uh, <clears throat> going back and looking at it. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would go. At least I got a PMC kill. What am I gonna do with these things, man? I think you can trade them for, uh... Uh, is it Peacekeeper? Oh man, I could get a couple of these things. I think also for Nogs too. Yeah, maybe I'll save him for the. Alright. Well, <laughs> that's the warm up, so. Yeah, I don't know, man. That was, uh, I don't know. I mean, it kind of looked like he, he was pretty kitted up. It kinda, he almost looked like Tagilla, honestly. I don't know. Uh, I mean, it was obviously like a super quick glance, so I don't know. Kind of looked like maybe he had Tagilla's helmet on, or some serious helmet on, I should say. And uh, good armor, but I was, I was laying for the legs. And the fire rate on the MP5 is pretty ridiculous, so I kind of honestly would have thought I would have killed him first, but it says he got a headshot, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh, man.
meds. All right. some of these earlier. Wow, this uh, music is really going hard here, man. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. It's supposed to be a little more relaxing than that. That's right, I found some of that. Let's mess with that. Alright, what am I rolling with? Light laser, one of six. Stuff. This mags. Yeah, such as Tarkov, that's right, man. That's why they call it getting Tarkov, I guess. Well, I can go hit up Customs and pop a couple guys for that. Oh, and get the thing for Chemical 1, I guess I could do that too. Oh, is this the one you need Key 224, actually? I don't remember. Chemical part one. No, that's the one with the train car, isn't it? Um, gosh, I have so many of these like half completed. Ooh, that's not a bad idea actually. my guy looking like oh yeah oops skip out of this. This song is a little more beastly than I was expecting. You know, man, I'm, uh, I'm gonna be working on a video soon for Tarkov. And, uh, it's just basically about how getting good at Tarkov makes you just, it changes the way you play shooting games, I think. Because there's such complexity in Tarkov. But n not only that, because it's not the only complex game. I mean, sure, a game like Arma or, I don't know, sure, Arma is real complex. And there are other games that are not, or, Slow and realistic, even more realistic probably, but uh, even with that, it's like once you're once you're killing multiple people and you're figuring out angles and you have to deal with ammo management and all that other stuff, it's like yeah, because there, there's just so much you have to do, and once it becomes very intuitive, I mean, you could go play. Yeah, you, know, you could get have like a banger raid and kill a bunch of people and be all like on fire in Tarkov. And you could hop into like Call of Duty or something, you'd probably just tear it up. Because you're just intuitively thinking about angles and movement pattern <laughs> patterns and stuff like that. I mean not everything's gonna transfer one to one, you know, because other games maybe the pace is different, but Yeah, I mean, I guess Arm is not really a good example. I was just trying to think of something that might be as complex with, uh, I mean, you know, packing magazines and 
all the multiple health things. I mean, I haven't actually played Arma. I mean, I touched it like years ago. So I don't actually know too much. I just know it's supposed to be really in depth. I think Rainbow Six Siege, there's like a mode where like your magazines have X ammo and that's like, uh, you know, like if you shoot five rounds in one magazine, reload it, that one has 25 or, you know, or whatever, for example. I don't really know many other games that do that kind of stuff even. But also just the gunplay in Tarkov. I think that's actually what I like most about Tarkov. And like, in a lot of ways the gunplay is really bad actually. But in a lot of ways it makes you have to be really good, <laughs> I guess. Oh, oh no, where's this music at? That's an interesting spawn. Oh, I was literally just thinking about this for chemical part one. Oh, it's been so... it's been a while. I think it's like, uh... Oh, isn't there something under one of these? Yikes. Yeah. There we go. Man, the crazy thing is I'm literally learn learning new angles to peek certain spots and popular spots like every raid lately. Like just now, I just noticed this one between like between this train. That's a hard spot for them to see you through. You know, up at the rock, I might look at the main spot, but it would be hard to see this. Every raid, it's like learning a new angle. I learned to jump in uh. Gosh, some maybe it's this map. I can't even remember now, but I saw a jump that gave you a whole new angle to like overlook a place that I didn't know you could get shot from before. get back in there so fast. half a mag on that guy really about half something that I have to ooh I think that thing's actually uh oh I didn't bring in my keys whoops this thing's actually worth a good bit if I... So just... Oh, 
Oh, there's someone. It's just a scav. Flashbang? Uh, no, maybe not. I thought there's a stash down here. Must be part of that random loot thing. You know what I noticed? I'm noticing that a lot of like the, I guess you consider them like top tier, upper tier players, players or whatever. Uh, use point fire a lot more than I ever would have thought. That's really worth anything. Yeah. I wonder if the bosses are there. I haven't seen them in a in a while actually. I don't even know if they spawn there anymore. Oh, uh, I wish you could rip the stock off this. Yeah, I mean point fire is like really strong or can be. If I can look through, oh, there's the bush there. Pass this real quick. And no stash here either, huh? That would be a sweet. Like right here, this is a sweet angle for there. I just saw that grenade there. That guy looked like he had a decent kit on too. I'm trying to learn a little bit more. Oh. 
Actually, honestly, it sounds like there might be a little more than I want to chew. Oh. Is that a dead body right there? Normally I think this is a horrible angle getting taken from over there, but I came from there and cleared it. People don't really look under the train when they're duking it out over there. And that dude was running towards Crack House. What's going on over there? What is going on over there? How can we even have that many grenades? It must be like a big team bat a fight or something. I don't like this one bit. I wonder if they're duking it out over there. Really hard to tell where those explosions are coming from. Now I'm the one out in the open here. Okay, I took off running that way. Now it's quiet. What was going on? Weird. All that wouldn't have been just for some scavies, so something...
fuck on. Oh, come on. Oh, he just started sprinting! You gotta be kidding me, dude. What a lucky guy. What a lucky guy. Oh, they're duking out with someone else now. Yeah, that'd be fun, man. I would be I'd be happy to do that. Uh, you know what? Why did I take that? Ooh, I want that. You know what? Let's go see what's going on. That's like a uh, corner. Checkpoint. Or whatever. Yeah, checkpoint. Oh, oh I just saw you, guy. I saw you. I don't have any grenades. Probably some players have, honestly. He's gonna have to come down the stairs, I think. He's probably looting his buddy. Ah, oh, I wish I had a grenade, man. Yikes. Do I just wanna push it up? No, that's a horrible idea. I don't know what's going on back that way. So stupid. All right. Uh, this is not. not oh wow! I wasn't expecting to die that quickly. That was, that was just, I knew it was a bad move. Oh no, it was PMC. Not, uh, not, um, player scouts. 
Oh, I would have done that differently then. <laughs> M855A1, really? Wow. Wow, I really took that the wrong. That's like top tier. Pretty sure it's better than 856. Oh, this is not that crazy expensive, but... RPK is actually really sick to run, too. Speaking of which, I have a 60 round mag there, so... Yeah. Yeah, that's actually uh that's actually not a bad idea to teach someone in uh co-op. But for for everyone to have co-op, they have to have the um like the top the top edition of the game, right? Like the um the dark darkness edition. Yeah, I can't Edge of Darkness or something like that. Ah, this is the one I needed. Nice. That four. Oh, I still need one more. I thought you only needed three. Already have a light on there. Let's go with the hollow so yeah, that's fine. Put a suppressor on it. Yeah, we'll bring some, uh, let's see, Slewa, Bandage, A-Lock, Aids. T B P. All right, with that. All right, that should be plenty. That's uh, 120. Yeah, that's that should be plenty there. I'm gonna take this kit this time. All of sight. I'll roll customs again, I think.
Oh, no. Custom match. Customs match, I should say. Oh, you know what? Actually, this would be a good kit to uh, take in a reserve, I think, too. I put this put this video up saying how how nice the peacekeeper armor is how much of a game changer it is I get tapped right in the thorax and like three shots right through a fresh kit I mean it was M8, M855A1 which is pretty sure it's like really high pen let's see Yeah, it's a, it's basically the best top tier. Not actually a ton of damage, but pretty good penetration. Oh yeah, even through like class five, even class six. Wow, actually, it's huh. That's actually pretty uh pretty ridiculous. What am I? Let's see. BT. Oh nice. BT is actually the best. Better than BP and all that. That's what I'm running some of in one of the mags, I think. Nice little trailer spawn. They got me running into the light on this one. Oh wow. Oh. So everything is going to be facing the light. I saw movement right there.
Just working our way up. I'm just constantly trying to learn new angles and new... New ways of approaching uh, different spots. here small skeleton Maybe bus station. Really practicing the sprint, not trying to sprint too much in certain spots. Yeah, right over there. PMC. I just saw him as a... What the heck is that? He's just sitting there prone. on the other side of here. Oh, it's just a scab. Oh, level three. Sorry, dude. What is this contraption he's got here, dude? Oh wow. Oh. Ah. Yeah, that's all PS. 762 PS, that's cool. And then, oh wait, what? Oh, that's my, my mag. Alright. Man, packing these things take, can take forever.
Five by nine nine. That's supposed to mean. The shadow there. They've been having some. Oh. Well, that's not ideal. not taking the bait on those shots either. That's just mildly embarrassing. It's getting dark out. That would be about the time to get going. Oh, I already heard them, they heard me. Oh, oh it's just a scabby. Oh, I'm so heavy I can't even sprint after him. Oh, is he not dead? Oh, he's over there now. Jeez. Alright, that's uh, something there is a little weird. I hit him a lot. That's crazy. What's this scav doing? Level 100 scav or something? Yikes, right out in the open, this is not, not ideal. Uh, someone's over in skeleton still too, that's also not ideal.
How did that scav not die there? I wasn't, wasn't planning that, but... Oh, that's right, I learned a new jump over here, gas station. Heavy. second. I don't understand what just happened. No, was I like low on energy and like using that killed me? What? Stimulant side effect? It literally was like instant death. Oh my god. <laughs> that is crazy. Well, like I said, you learn something new like every raid. <laughs> Although that's, uh, I wasn't planning on learning something like that, to be honest. Yikes. I think I'm gonna run a different uh, stylus that we're doing with it. I don't really have any good 7.62 NATO ammo. Or I would try and run. Uh, what do I have that's like. Oh, I'm not in. Yeah, I want Uh, 50k just to repair it, dude. Do, 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 do. Alright. Yeah, I don't really have. 
have good. So that's also the kind of thing you don't really need. What do I have? Uh, you don't really need like exceptional ammo for 7.62 stuff. It as a whole is relatively good. Can't buy any of this, right? Three dollars around. Is that peacekeeper? Oh, it's ways away. Pretty sure. Oh, you can't buy that. I'm pretty sure soft point does more damage with less pen. Well, I guess we'll figure it out. <laughs> All right. These are cheap, right? Yeah. You can run an uh fight on the RFB, right? I'm just trying to remember how to You definitely can. Actually I'm not sure about definitely, but I'm pretty sure you can. Ah, maybe not. Well, whatever, that's fine too. I'm gonna go try and mess about in reserve. Where are my glasses? Oh, actually, am I out? Well, those don't take damage or you know, block stuff, but whatever, that's fine. All right, cool. Let's uh, and three mags. I just need something to heal with. Let's leave with that. That's. Oh, and... No, but I'm not even zeroed out here, so why would... I don't understand what happened there. It's a little, that's a little frustrating, that one. Wait a second. Where's my... Uh... Change it up a little bit here. Do, 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 do. All right. <clears throat> See if we can get something going here. I mean, I've been getting kills, just haven't been surviving. What's up, man? Uh, let's see, I haven't survived a raid yet, but I've gotten last raid. Uh, there's a bunch of bunch of weird scavs that came out. Very aggressive. They're having these scavs spawn like two, three, four at a time. Prone scavs, crazy. I got a bunch of kills. Killed another PMC. 
And then I didn't survive to extract because of some weird, uh... It said a stimulant side effect. I was so confused. I, I'm still trying to figure out how I actually died. Because after the raid, I had like 30-something hydration and 50-something energy. So I really don't understand how I died. Like, I was healed up. Like, I didn't have, like, bleeds or any damage, really. And I was near new gas station, working my way to ZB11. And I use an Ob Obdalos injector. Not an Obdalos 2, but the first one. And I used it, and then my guy just died. He just dropped dead. So, I'm gonna have to read up on that and see what happened there, because I really don't understand. I, th I thought when it happened, maybe it, like, drains your energy a whole bunch, and my guy was low, so maybe that, like, zeroed him out hard enough to just kill him, but it was, like, immediate, so I don't, uh, I don't know. I found, like, an armor repair kit. That's the second one I found in the back of the van at the gate near RUAF, so I always make sure to kind of check there. But it also weighs you down, so I was, like, really rucking the last whole bit of that raid. It's a pretty decent PMC kill, though. But I'm gonna try rolling reserve with an RFB. So it's probably not ideal. I don't think you can mount a light on an RFB. Light would be really helpful pushing down to like D2. I wanted to change it up from the run and gun automatic fire into the heavy hitting. Not that I'll necessarily slow down my play style, but. I still. I'm, I still don't understand how my guy died. Like, I literally used the injector and then he just dropped dead. Ab ab I'm not gonna be able to spell this right. Injector Tarkov. Let's see. What does it do? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Why? I how I died. Oh, there's like all these 25% chance. Wait, what? Oh, this is a great spot to loot on a scav run. Might as well hit it real quick. Wait, my energy was just like 91 before coming into this raid. get like scopes here this is a good spot to find some scopes you know what? I get a fair amount of PMC kills but I also die a lot too because I I push that's pretty close this is not a little bad spot to peek out of is it you can actually even see through into there oh huh. A chance of insta death. Well, I... well, he was just aggroed on the player, so I shouldn't have shot him, honestly. An airdrop? It's like a fresh raid.
Who is he shooting at? Oh, that's not ideal. Huh. <laughs> I feel proud of that, actually. That music was still going. Yeah, I have to say, I'm actually kind of proud of that foot head combo. There's somebody over here. Both sides. Shoot. Uh, am I gonna swing? Yep. Wait. Oh, I don't like this. Footsteps are definitely like right here. gonna leave that be. You know, I just realized, I can, uh, I can afford a Red Rebel, I think, to do the barter and all that. Maybe. I might have to kind of stash up a couple of runs and actually survive a few to, uh, make that happen, but...
I just run in a circle? Oh, man. Oh, you can really see a lot from here, huh? Airdrop landed like over there, I'm pretty sure. You know, I like the RFB and it's like super cheap to run, too. I'm just running crap ammo, honestly. See, this is the kind of shot, you know, you're you're running, bam, headshot, you have no idea where you get hit by. This is the kind of shot that makes people upset or makes you think, like, ah, oh, someone must be cheating, I have no idea. <clears throat> but really, it's just like someone's looking your way from a place that you can't see or you don't know about. I'm starting to understand that more. Or that I play. Pardon me, I mean... Wants to just kind of see what's going on out here. Hope I catch someone running up top. I don't want to just like sit here either. This dude's up. He's in here. Hey, he's up here. Funny thing is, I heard someone else looting, so I still don't think I'm alone yet. Mm -hmm. Now there's someone else here. There he is.
That's just 866 or 856, right? Yeah, that's Thanks, man. I actually feel I'm feeling I'm starting to feel more proud of some of the plays I do. Like, I didn't know that you could go around on the roof, but when I saw the window there, I figured he'd have to push in when I dropped the grenade out there. So I kind of pushed him into me. And then I just I heard, oh, that guy must have ran down the stairs. He must have been trying to loot the bag and then ran down because he sounded way closer than that. That's that was wild. Is it even worth to go loot him, honestly? Probably not. You never know. Oh, really? Get up there, guys. Let's go. Level two, <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I heard that and I know I should stop looting, but I just... Pretty greedy. Is that on top of me? Alright, I feel like I'm about to get swamped by player scavs now. I need to get out of here. T20? That's not bad. Oh, he just spawned in it looks like. See, my problem with this map is I only know D2 and uh, the scav uh, you know, like the scav uh, extracts. I don't know... I don't know any of these other extracts. I know the sewer manhole, but I'm not taking that. This, this is... Oh, I gotta stuff this stuff in. Oh, I already have been stuffing it. I know the, the hermetic door, like I know where the button is to get it going or whatever, but I don't actually know uh, where to go for that. I have an idea actually, but I'm not sure.
hear stuff going on underneath. Oh my god, is that a second airdrop? Like maybe someone loaded right in and uh, I didn't think of that actually. That makes sense, yeah. Ooh. Huh. Right? How can I get this gun without dropping all this? I gotta leave it. I'm missing a mag. Oops, um, that's just unfortunate.
How did that hurt my arms? Fucking douchebag. That's what you get. Uh, I don't know if I can say that one on YouTube. Whoops. Yikes. Wow. So what they say is true. The XR camping really is strong here. Solid garbage. I don't need stuff. That's trash too. I don't even know why I have that. Yeah, I don't even need this at all. This fit? Ah, oh, beautiful. I'm trying to I'm trying to make it a point <laughs> no no pun intended there but uh, you know I'm trying to make it a, a thing to actually practice my point far on purpose now chances there's like another guy though too like back I mean if he had a buddy he probably would have pushed but maybe not I guess you never know So that's what he shot at me. Oh, the Osprey. I'm gonna say the Osprey uh, probably saved my butt right there. So where was he? Just like laying down or- oh, maybe through the door? That's actually not bad. That's what you're going for, that's not a bad spot. I saw his bag there, I was like, oh, sweet. Oh, you can't go this way, it's just like, uh... Ah, 
Honestly, this is a. Uh, this is not bad right here. Why wouldn't anyone just wait here? They think they're home free and blah 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 blah. I guess like, I'm not. I don't know. That's not my play style. It seems kind of you know, but. This was not a bad raid. Oh, I'm actually happy with that. Wow. I had a lot. That was all good plays that raid. Ha! <laughs> uh, just reading this guy's name now. That's funny. The PP. Hello? It's a good way for you to enter my stream, Dustin. Actually, wait, your voice... I don't know if your voice is going to carry through or not, actually, because I'm using a different... Yeah, I don't know. Dude, I just had a... I just had a raid and a half, dude. I went to reserve as a PMC with an RFB kitted out. I killed some I killed some scabbies. I had some sick plays, dude, like sick plays. Like I pushed I pushed a guy to have to push me indoors because I, I dropped a grenade out a window on a roof, so he had to come in. I got him. I popped a dude that I heard right in the head and uh took some of his kit. And then an extra camper tried to get me at D two and I I got him. And uh came out with some loot. <laughs> yeah, camping right by the door is more common. Yeah, I man, is that really that common? Like, I've only played reserve as a PMC a handful of times now, and I've extracted D2 like three times. Wow, when I say a handful of times, I've really only PMC'd uh, reserve like, I don't know, less than five times. So, and I'm pretty sure... So, so where this guy was, so you have like the D2 door in the stairway, the staircase that goes up and you can't open that door. And then that's like the final door that you can open. And then you go, you go like, I'm, I'm going backwards. If you go down that, you know, there's like a little control room or whatever you want to call it, super tight. And, uh, you basically come around that tight staircase and then you can go, like, there's a little hole, like, there's these massive, like, heating pipes or whatever, and then you can go through the little hole, and there might be a bag there or something. No, so when I came around the corner, towards, like, the break in the wall, that's where he lit me up, and I think he was back shooting through the door from the D2 spot, which honestly hurt him, because... As soon as I started getting lit up, I turned, ran, he zeroed out my stomach and gave me a heavy bleed, but there's enough distance between us and enough like tight quarter that I, I used my K-Lock B while sprinting up, and then I got a sweet angle on him because he pushed me through like a, through like a, honestly a horrible angle for him. And uh, he did, he messed me up, he did a uh, 30, or 20, he did like 34 points of damage uh, to my Osprey. If he was using like BP or BT or something, he might have got me, honestly. That's the second most common spot. Yeah, I don't know. I guess, uh, I mean, it's an... You're learning about streets? I'd get, I'd like to mess with streets. Yeah. Man, that does not sound fun. Uh, 
Ah, uh, these aren't worth. Yo, I pulled. I pulled a solid. Uh, yeah, solid kit here. Got one of the heavy trooper masks. I got. I found. I picked up a guy's. Uh, um, SVDS, and I dropped it for, or I was gonna drop it for a fresh SAG AK, and then I ended up taking this guy's AK in. Cause it's all decked out. I could have just pulled the stuff off of it, but yeah, that's what I pulled off of this. That's what I pulled off of this guy, dude. And it's like decked out. He's dude. He's actually got the the CSS knurled charging handle. I'm pretty sure those are like, oops, like. Like 60k. Yeah, hold on. Filter by item. 90k. Why are they so expensive? Yeah, 90k, 95, 100k. Wow. Yeah, that's 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 why that's the title of my video, man. Is uh, that's why I'm running these kits now. When you get level 20, uh. 23 maybe I think you get peacekeeper 3 and it un it unlocks this helmet uh it's a class 4 helmet that's that's cool it actually shows the multiple but then it's like a modular helmet so you can put the you put all this stuff on it and then I wasn't wearing them this time because I ran out of them and didn't want to buy another set but, you know, you combine that with the condors, which are like, I don't know, they're like class one or whatever, but whatever, something. It basically protects everything at, you know, at, at gives you some protection. And then this osprey, you can buy one time, one of them per, uh, whatever, per cooldown, restock. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's sick. Like, I've definitely been torn through it with, like, high tier ammo. Like uh, like that death I had earlier on customs against the the two guys that I one I popped in the head from like 70 meters I pushed in he like insta killed me in the thorax but he was using 855 A1 which is like the top tier pen you know tears through everything if the, yeah if that guy was using like BT or something I probably would have died but he wasn't. <laughs> Yeah, see, I kind of... Dan, what's up? Oh, man. Dude, I just got a... Just had a banger raid, dude. Sort of. Yeah. Oh, but this one I had a ton of different kills. Two PMCs. One was an extra camper. But to be fair, my last like two or three raids, I, I mean, I I've been getting kills all night actually. Well, I say all night. I mean, I've only been playing for like an hour and a half, if that. But uh, I've been getting a lot of kills. But uh, well, I meant t like tonight though. But um, I got a lot of kills. Scavs and PMCs. At least one PMC raid actually. But this is my first one that I survived out with. Man, I like reserve actually, dude. That it might be. It might be my favorite map. I gotta say. <laughs> you got. You have to get the. You have to get the green flare down, dude. Oh no, Dustin, I'm selling that computer tomorrow, man. I mean, I've got another one, it's just a little bit more expensive, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, so did mine earlier. Starting to get lost here, man. All right, um, I gotta roll. Let's roll back. What do you got? Are you guys uh, what's up?
Hey man. Hey hey Sips. You uh you still there, man? I'm curious uh you've been watching uh, how this how the stream is looking cuz I'm doing a different bitrate and using a whole different program. So I had an issue with o OBS. settings hotkeys need for save replay Yeah, but you know what, man? If you saw my insurance, I think I I sent something to the our group chat or whatever. Uh, it seems like a lot of people don't take stuff out in general, or maybe they don't survive to to get it out. I don't know. Well, honestly, that's actually true. Like, I don't, I don't even take, yeah, unless it's like a really worthwhile, like high tier thing. Like, I don't even really take helmets or, uh, especially like headphones or anything. They're not. I mean, if you think about it, headphones, aren't they're not even worth, uh, you know, that goal of like 10k a slot. They're not even close to that. These, this helmet I pulled out, I partially did it out of spite of that extra camper. But I think to, for me to buy it would be like 40 or 50k. So it's kind of worth it either way. And I, I guess I somehow had the space, but cool, man. Thanks. Yeah. Well, yeah. Can you, Hey Sips, can you hear, uh, I'm talking to two people in my discord here. Can you hear them? I also appreciate all the feedback, man. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, dude, S Sips is, he's, uh, He's been watching, man. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna be my OG when I'm when I'm uh, what's, you know, rolling in the the big numbers. He's gonna be that the OG fan. That's right. Shout out to Sips. That's right. Oh, he can't hear you. I guess. I think I figured it out. You, if you enable streamer mode on Discord, it seems to to do that. Which I guess is good. I guess it depends on the situation. Yeah. Now I just have to figure out how to... I think I'm going to save up for a stream deck. Or steam... steam yeah, stream deck? I don't know. Or... That's the thing. I think I need to figure it out. How I can mute it from you guys too. So like if I'm talking to the stream. Or like if I died and I'm talking to my stream. I'm not like messing you guys up too. I got to figure that out. Well, the problem is I'm using this 10 keyless keyboard that doesn't really have, like I'm already using up my keys for my recording and replays and stuff that I can use. And some of them already double over for my Tarkov buttons too. No, I know. I just, I got I'm, I'm going to swap this keyboard out. I have another keyboard. I just haven't done it yet. It even, it has a numpad, which will be a lot nicer for selling stuff in the flea. But, uh. It also has like, uh, I don't know, they're like G keys, you know, they're just like keys that you can hop bind whatever you want to, I guess. I, whatever the term is for them, but. Man, thanks Sips, I really appreciate you giving me the feedback too, man. Control shift. All right, I'm I'm gonna start yelling at you guys. All right, can you hear this? Can you hear this? Can you hear this? Can you hear this? I know that's so annoying. Oh, you can hear this. Oh, <laughs> well that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Control Shift. That's why I hit. Yeah. It's I'll I'll uh I'll mess with it. Uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was assuming it was gonna work. I didn't. <laughs> Probably sounded like an idiot. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Alright, what am I doing? I'm just scrolling this stuff around now. Yeah, my dog tags case, dude, one, two, three, uh, it's probably eight slots, it's probably a ten by ten. I only got eight slots left in it, dude. Then what am I gonna do? I think, oh wait, what level was that guy? I think that's enough for the Nogs from Peacekeeper. Because he was level 20, oh, he might be 24, I think it needs to be 25. Ah! And it has to be a bear. I have eight, eight out of nine greater than level 25 bears. I feel like, dude, percentage-wise, how do you do this? Uh, skills. Nope. Overall. It's like, it's like half. 28 bears killed, 61 Usex killed. So out of those 28 bears, I mean, Assuming I got their tags. Oh, which maybe I didn't though too. I mean, it's not like I've gotten all the tags from these guys too. Oh, uh, so I don't know. Or unless that, ah, uh, who knows how I get all that stuff is anyways. But. Thanks, man. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't get too crazy about this game or whatever, you know. I mean, there's definitely like the game is like, what's the word? Uh, intense or like, not quite stressful. I mean, it, it sure can be. Uh, ex yeah, anxious. Is, it's like exhilarating, but like exhilarating on with pressure. I know there's a word I'm looking for. I just can't think of it right now. But, um... <laughs> That's funny. Well, dude, Dustin, I uh, you remember uh, when you we you got clipped, and we thought we were going up into the the building you need a key for next to the little skeleton, the little bunker for some task or whatever. So I I uh. Saw two guys there when I was in the train yard at like Big Skeleton, like but I was like underneath or something. Actually, I'm trying to remember. It was far. Yeah, no, I was on top. I was on top, and I, dude, it was like I had it on his head. I pulled the trigger, and he was walking. And as soon as I pulled the trigger, he like started sprinting. So like the timing mismatched. It was just by, a, but um, but then I got closer, or something. Yeah, but then. I ended up, I got another shot at them from b down in the train yard. They were like still kind of over in that area. Oh, they were up on top of the small skeleton looting it. It was like a 70 meter headshot. I popped him and then his his partner killed me when I pushed in a, I thought they were a team of like player scavs, kind of judging by how they looked from afar. They were PMCs though. And he, he was kitted a lot better than I thought. Cause I thought, oh, he's got some whatever. I'll just, I'll eat some of it if I have to coming up the stairs. But he got me in the thorax with like 855A1, which is like top pen. Mine, that's like other than the SSA or SAA like AP. That's like top, top dog stuff. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Yeah, it could have been. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get the tag of the other guy, so I don't. I don't know what level he was. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he did, he didn't seem like he wanted to play uh play Tarkov, man. That's true. He didn't work today. 
But yeah, I mean, I don't know. He. I don't. I don't know if we'll get the Jeffrey in here. Yeah, but he really didn't even play it yet. Either. You gave it a little bit more of a chance. And then me and Dustin just like bullied you into playing it. <laughs> Pretty much. Dude, I wanna run reserve again. That was a that was a crazy raid. I mean it, it was tough. It was pretty wild, but it was I like that map. I'm uh There you go. Oh dude. I actually I had another a good raid with a bunch of scav kills and like a, a sweet PMC kill, like like a very clean kill I should say. And the only reason I died, I still can't figure it out, is I had just used a, an SJ6 because I found an armor repair kit in the back of that van at customs, the one at the big gate kind of near RUAF. And uh, I, so I used an SJ6 and I got, by the time I got to new gas, I was like, man, like it was getting dark and it was just taking forever because my stamina, you know, all that, it was like super, I was super heavy. And I had like the guy's kit and everything, so like, you know, it was like loaded so i use this abdalos injector but not the abdalos 2 that i normally would carry because i just i found it in raid so i just threw it in my thing and i decided to use it and then i just died so so sip said that some injectors or one, one injector has the chance yeah so literally i just i 15% yeah so that's what happened <laughs> like huh am uh yeah man all right Ooh, hold on I got I got a bunch my tasks reset y you can bring it in in your like special yeah Oh, that's not bad. Hey, I need to I need to find an Untar helmet in raid. It's for Peacekeeper. I'll get a little boost and some XP. Like a what's the word? Like a rep boost or whatever. Yeah, I'm I'm ready. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. You know how I told you that uh some of my buttons overlap? Oh no, I'm gonna have to change that button, dude. I so I have like a regular it's a ten keyless keyboard. It might be like an eighty percent one or something, I can't remember now. So it's it's like a regular it's got all the the letters, numbers, it's got F one through twelve. And then it has like the arrows and then like M1 through 6, which is also like insert, delete, home, whatever, uh, above the arrows. So I use the delete one to uh, do my replays, but I also use delete often in raid to like throw items out or whatever. <laughs> so every every time I do that, it's, it saves like four minutes of footage or something. Well... I I was just checking to make sh yeah pretty much yeah I'm gonna have to change that button to anything else. Well, that's good because that means I got some of these clipped then. Oh yeah, dude, I did. Oh, that's what's up. I might. Yeah, that's cool. Dude, that that's gonna fill up this thing fast though. Oh yikes, dude. Off the. F oh. That's all right. That's enough for one. For one nice one. Alright, but yeah, I'm good. I'm not the party leader, though. What are we doing? Oh, Shoreline? I love Shoreline. Love it. I 
I don't think that's a thing. I need... Well, hey, I also, uh... I must have completed some task, I don't remember which one it was, that then gave me a task that I forgot I picked up that proper gives to kill like 25 scavs on customs, which I just like knocked out super fast without even realizing it until, like I was like, oh, what's this task that's whatever, and it was like 22 out of 25, I was like, oh, sick. But um, I completed that, and then he gave me the one with the tank battery and the shells, but I thought, I used to think it was three shells, but I guess it's five shells. And I had four cell shells saved up. So, I think it was three shells. Yeah, but either way, they, maybe maybe they changed it then. But yeah, man, so so I, I turned in the tank battery and four shells. I just need one shell to get past that one now. I feel like the shells are a little more... I, I uh... The... <laughs> Well, I don't think I sold any of this raid because I knew it, like, or this, uh, wipe. Current weather conditions, foggy. Ah, oh, foggy on shoreline, that sucks too. I'm running the RFB, you're running the silenced Mosin. Suppressed Mosin. I'm, I'm re-watching. So where was this guy? Dude, I can't even see where he is. That extract camper. I'm, I'm wa- At D2. Like, I, I'm, I'm re-watching. I can't even see him, dude. Like, I, I- No, it's not on stream. My stream just records the Tarkov, uh- just the Tarkov, so like I can switch around stuff in on my screen and it still stays on Tarkov. But I also have non-copyright music playing too now that I just have during the menus and stuff. I th I'm getting it set up, dude. And I'm gonna get better by better every time until it's like mint, you know. And now with the stream, now with the Streamlabs, dude, I have these this theme that is like stream starting, stream ending that I can transition to, and it's like this cool thing, you know. It shows my schedule. So I'm gonna do Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from eight to ten. Is my planned schedule. Oh, yeah. to survive well you, you can you can plant yeah you can plant the sv and the multi-tool and then once they're planted you can die and then just survive any raid on shoreline i think but you have to plant them first if you die first then you know you have to buy an sv 98 and another uh, multi-tool which at least you have the flea now too so when i did i didn't have the flea so i was just sitting there sweating like ha i'm not gonna you know <laughs> Oh, 
here we go, boys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh wait, we're not where I thought we were. Hey, the the drone, we're going to go buy the drone, right? Basically. Yeah, yeah. Oh, don't go up on that rock. That's just like begging. Yeah, and that's just begging for people to see you. We're just, just follow me, we're going the right way, we're going this way. Where did you guys go? Oh. I hear you, but I don't, oh, you're all the way over, okay. I think, I think I got lucky when I did it, and I literally spawned, uh, like, there's the road to custom spawn, and then, like, south of that, kind of close to the bridge, or whatever. And I think I literally spawned, like, there. I feel like you guys are taking a little bit of a longer way around. I'm just trying to go get up over this next ridge to get a peek. Oh, here's the drone. I was, I was looking to look for the drone. I didn't realize it was going to be like right here. I'm literally... I'm, liter I'm literally directly... If you come down that hill, I'm like right in front now. No, I'm not that far from you guys. I'm running up, yeah, I'm running right up, yeah. Now who's up? Now who's up top? <laughs> Dan, 
Ian, do you need the drone yet? Or no, you... That's you, right? Oh, jeez. Oops. Yeah. Pretty sure you did, yeah. Unless you died, I guess. Yeah, no, I think you did get it done. So I'm not staying up too late, because I stayed up way too late last night with playing with Jeff, and uh, Lana gets dropped off here at like 5.30. I need to get some sleep. No, I couldn't come to play, but he, we played Payday. And it, dude, it was really fun, I gotta say. No, I don't think he does want, I mean, he seems to really want to avoid it. But I guess Counter-Strike 2, if that came out today, I mean, that's kind of cool. Like, I kind of want to check that out. Oh, wait. What? Where, uh... Well, when you say you did a curve, Dustin, what, is, what do you... Well, we're, we're coming up to this. We're coming up to the street now. So yeah, we're 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 further. We're further. Yeah, we're pretty much there. No, I think we already passed the house he's talking about, Dan. Well, yeah, but we, we kind of passed one to our right, though, too. Well, we're still, we're still... We're still kind of far from that, Dan. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess. What's the, hey, what's, what, with the pure boat, what, what's the sign on the pure boat that, uh, that it's, like, good to take? Is there, like, a light or smoke or something, or? No, because the boat's been there, because the boat's been there, uh, once or twice, and I went to take it, because I was like, oh, I don't remember seeing it, and it, like, wouldn't let me, uh, take it. Oh, I see you. I see you. Yeah. No, our, our right, but yeah. I don't see any. I'm looking in the windows and stuff. It's like an oddly quiet route for, you know, I don't know. Did someone just get hurt?
the resort. I'm coming. Yeah, each, each. 30 seconds each plant. Hey, you go, you're safe. <laughs> you greedy one. <laughs> wow, don't be mad, Dustin, but, uh... uh how am I gonna do this? There we go. A lion and a gold chain. Resort, resort. Dude, and a GPU, I'm not even... I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'd give you, I'd give you the line. <laughs> you know, with the three of us and it being oddly quiet, we could go try to look at that little, like, marked circle room or whatever and just take the tunnel assuming the pure boat may or may not work right oh i see you you're done nice no there's no key it's just like a it's just like a big chest with a certain one of those circles around it damn weird oh i'm getting i'm, I'm getting shot at yeah, uh, left side of the gas station, or, yeah, the gas station. He's, uh, he's up in the... Oh! Oh, there's more than one. There's gotta be more than one, dude. No, no, I'm, I'm down taking... I'm down taking cover by the beach. They did push. Dude, they did push. Yeah, dude, they're, they're down here, dude. Ah, uh, I got one. The other, I got one, one got me. Yeah, one got me, I'm dead. I got one though, too. No. No, Dan's dead, dude. We're, we're both dead, man. You're on your own on that. Oh, I lost my server. That's all right. Dude, the RFB is actually... I'm kind of liking it. That was that was dumb for them to push us though. Great, but I mean Well, by the th 
when they pushed us, they were on the they were on the road. Like Yeah. I could have played that a little differently, but I figured I was too far out in the open, so I had to just swing up on them. I think I surprised the guy, or maybe they were focused on Dan. Dude. That was just, like, that was so bad on their part, though. Like, we're... Yeah, like, we were stuck on a beach. I mean, maybe they... maybe. Yeah, and, like, maybe they, uh...
Well, that's what that's what they were probably doing when we ran in, you know. That's kind of the point, though. You have to run up to it. I, th I think, or maybe there's like a little light that shows. I I'm actually not sure. Yeah, Sips, that really, that was just not the, not the play. I thought maybe it was like a lone sniper and turns out it was like a trio. Yeah, we did. I, I popped one dude though, so, oh. That's funny when you bounce down, the barrel bounces down. Dan, are you kitted back up? But Dan, are you kitted up? be my last raid. Listen, man, I, I, like I said, I understand, man, it's, uh, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, obviously, <laughs> but, but, like, how, you know, how do you get someone who isn't, uh, immediately taken by a game like this, 
you know, like it doesn't click right with them and say, don't worry, spend like a hundred hours or more playing this game that you might not like and might be really tough for you. But once it clicks, it'll be really fun and exhilarating. But you have to spend all those hours on a video game. You know what I mean? But Jeff, Jeff, it sounds like he's really looking for like eight, like chill games. Like that's even what he said about Counter Strike. He's like, like, oh yeah, super. Uh... Actually, I don't remember the exact words. Well, honestly, like, even playing Payday, like, uh, Payday was like super chaotic, like, really chaotic. But it was still like there's no pressure like you die or whatever you just it's sometimes it's like funny like ha i died like it's you know but in tarkov you die you, you know it sucks well but it, i mean it's much different It's just the cartoony. I mean, I I personally like the realistic tactical, not even just realistic shooters. I like tactical shooters. You know, so like Ready or Not, um, Ground Branch would be cool if they kind of did more with it. Payday isn't a tactical shooter, but I'll tell you what, that that it was a blast. I mean, some, sometimes it's nice to kick back with the arcade style, but personally, in terms of, like, as a game, or, like, as a preference, I like the more serious games, I guess. No, obviously not, because Tarkov is just like that, too. That's with any game, though. That's with that's with any game. That wouldn't be specific to Fortnite or whatever. I do. I remember. I remember when PUBG came out. That was an infuriating kind of game. Because, like... Yeah, you could be running across the map and not see a single person for, like, yeah, like, half an hour or something. And you get all this loot, you're all prepared, and you're like... You've got the adrenaline going, so you're hoping to find something, or, you know, a battle or whatever. Nothing. Then all of a sudden, just boop up, dead. No idea where it came from. You know, it's just like, ugh...
I got pretty good at PUBG. Yeah, Sips, uh, when you say, did, did we used to play Fortnite? Not really. I mean, I never really, when you say it like that, or, or that phrasing, no. But, um, my, my friend group here, um, they've, they've played some Fortnite, especially my friend Dustin, who, um, I guess you can't hear what they're saying. All right. But he, he's got a lot of time in a Fortnite. He was just asking me why I didn't like it. Are you guys, I mean, well, Dan said I'll be right back, but like, I gotta get into this last raid so I can go to bed, dude. <laughs> I had like three hours of sleep last night. So your son must be a little older than Sips, because you, you were talking about teaching him Tarkov. I imagine he's not like uh, five or six. <laughs> Well, you know, man, I would say that, like, uh, if with us, well, with us showing him around, like, I remember vaguely when I would, like, I'd been playing solo for a little bit, and then you, I think you started showing me around some stuff. It's hard to comprehend. Like, it wasn't, like, like, hey, here's this point of interest, here's this, but, like, until you actually, like, play enough for it all connect, to connect it's like it still doesn't really matter or help kind of in it it's like Yeah, oh that's a that's a gap sips, 14 and 4 months. That's cool though, man. That's an interesting uh yeah, interesting setup. Fun 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 style. Fun lifestyle, I meant. <laughs> My kids are closer together, 2 and 4, so it's just pure chaos. <laughs> but um But yeah, I mean, I I had the dual monitor set up so I could put a map on one. And then, like, learn my way through the map, like, visually and stuff, you know? I think that helped a lot. Like, other than being, like, shown around, like, to actually learn. But really... He, he needs to play some offline raids, like I was telling him. 
And but obviously like he's just playing other games instead, so maybe he doesn't really, you know what I mean, want to try to do that. Maybe. Hey, wait, was that Dan? All right, let's let's roll up. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. All right, where where are we going? Oh, I had that. Peacekeeper. It's a peacekeeper task. I've got a task on Lighthouse. You have to do what? <laughs> Just write that one off, Dan. <laughs> well, if you uh, if you go in with a group to kill a boss, right, and and someone in your group kills him, that probably doesn't still count, right? All right, then I I hate to say it, I'd write that one off, Dan. Well, and it's just a level. I mean, I haven't been able to kill Shala. I mean, at my skill level, I prop. Yeah, like if I, if I personally was like, I'm gonna go kill Rashala and like was hunting him, I'm sure I could. But it's you know that's tough. You need like gear, and I killed all of his guards once because I I thought there were PMCs running around. I didn't realize it was like a whole thing. And it's in dorms too. Oh, so I'm good with whatever map, just pick one and it's, that's whatever. Who's who's the leader? That's you, Dustin. Let's pick a place. Oh. Lighthouse. Lighthouse would be my Well, you're going to get kicked off Lighthouse, right? I mean, it would be likely that your computer doesn't load Lighthouse, right? Let's, we could PMC streets. Nah, no, fuck it. Let's do lighthouse. Hmm. I got. I was gonna bring the SV ninety eight. So just give me a sec to uh, change that idea.
I'm gonna bring this guy's AK in. Yeah, just if we're going streets, I just want to bring like a more serious kit is all. Depends what your what kind of slugs are you using. Not a I'd say like a hundred meters. That's a nice setup, Sips. Use an iPad for a second screen. Huh. That's, a, that's an interesting idea. Objective. Tall. Was that Jeff? some kits and lost some rubles but <clears throat> I still have some kit well I say I still have some kit I still have some kits and I got some decent stuff I picked up from people and kills and stuff I still have rubles so I guess it's uh, not the end of the world What's up, Jeffrey?
ready? The Walter. I don't know. Oh, player. That's right. Well, Dan may not have access to the flares, right? Oh, you see, oh, no, he could flea market one. That's right. Well, if you, if we use that extract, he'll uh, want it. I bring two because it seems like half the time I don't shoot it in the right spot, so I have to try again. <laughs> I thought we were going streets. Ten fifty nine. Hello, Jeffrey. Maybe he can't, yeah, maybe let's say maybe he can't hear us. Uh, he's gonna learn the joys of uh, troubleshooting. We heard that, Jeffrey. Oh, that's right. I said we can hear you, but obviously if he can't hear us, then that's a... Uh... Dustin, you need to ready us up. He's not coming to streets, PMC. I, I know, but... but... By the time he, if he's gonna get set up and all that, I, I gotta get going, man. We've been prepping for like half an hour now. Listen, that, I don't, I don't think running him on a PMC raid on streets would help him want to play this game. Yeah, 
Yeah, but he needs to be acclimated off. I think he needs to be acclimated offline before he just loses all his shit. And that can be fun, man. So I guess... I guess the inertia is fairly new, like, wipe-wise. Well, I mean, relative in the game's life cycle, like, it's- the game's been out for, like, years, and so, like, a year. That- that's all I meant, is, like, it, it's not a core mechanic that the game started with. Which is wild- it's wild to think about, because, like, it's such a huge way of how you- move and you have to consider it like pretty extensively yeah What do you mean you're not going to load in? We can still back out. Dan? Alright, I backed out. He's gonna have to buy it. Yeah, you know, it'll be like another like 40 bucks or whatever. Hey Jeffrey. Oh, me and Dan. We're, we ever Dan leave the party too, and then like re restart your game. No, we left Dustin. Well, that's just unfortunate. All right, Dan, do you want to run one with me? Hates ever. Um, I can drop you one. I bring two. Or does everyone even have to use a flare? Is that how? I don't actually even know how it uh how it works. I mean, we're probably not gonna make it to the extract. I said we're probably not even going to make it to the extract, Dan, so don't be too upset. So you just, you basically just played it. No, Jeff just said it came out today. Wait, so you got it for free? Oh, the game is free, Jeff. It says I have 40 hours on record of Counter-Strike 2. Well, that can't be accurate.
Oh, they're all... There's 7.6 million positive reviews of Counter-Strike 2, but they must have rolled it together. <laughs> You mean just in general? I mean, we've had one. We've had ones where he loaded in, and and he was just standing there, and he. Waiting for players three oh six. Up, oh, rolling in. <clears throat> yeah, I'm still streaming, yeah. Oh, we're right in the middle here? Oh, so I know where we are, that's cool. Oh wait, I take it back, actually. No, I take it back. I don't know where we are. Uh, I have an idea. Oh wait, maybe Pinewood Hotel. Yeah, let's just get off the main road actually. Oh wait, uh, I think this is... That might be the Klimov Mall. This might be Klimov, Klimov Street or whatever. So I think we, we can actually extract right there. I think. If it ends up being the mall on our left, then that's uh, what it is. Yeah. We could literally loot this mall. Yeah, we could literally loot this mall and get out, dude. This is, this is literally like prime. Oh, that's right. Here, Dan, Dan, come take this. Right there. So, uh, key, put it in your rig and key bind it. You, you know, key bind it to something you don't use, but you, yeah. And good luck on aiming it. I didn't do it the right way the first couple times, so I ended up dying. There's an upstairs too. 
<gasps> Dude, a GPU! Yeah, GPU. Found raid. I gotta go. I don't even care, dude. <laughs> then I only need one more for that task. I don't know if that's the only way up or not. I'm not really familiar with it. I just I know I've been here like once or twice. Uh, I don't really know if there's really much loot up here, actually. This is the upstairs? I thought there was... There, oh, are you... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm shooting across the street. I killed a couple of scavs. They like rushed. It was really weird. Assuming they were scavs. I think I hear you. That is close. That's in there, I think. Across the street. That, I, I'm not coming up, I'm just I'm still under you. That's so close, dude. You know, I think that's in like the little toy store next to us, below us. I think. Yeah, it's gotta be, dude. I'm going down. Is that? Is that a sniper scav or what? I think that's a sniper scav. I'm yeah, I'm down street level. That's right. Didn't they add like a bunch of sniper scavs with this? No, not just the dealership. Like at Klimov Street. Or maybe they didn't have them. I've never... I didn't really use this extra back before. Alright. That's me running on wood. Yeah, street level. Someone's coming, it's not you. Oh, that is you. You're in, you're in the... You just walked on glass? Okay, alright, alright, yeah, yeah. Then that is you. Jeez, alright. I got some here. I'll drop some stuff for you, man. Here, because let's drop it and then take the extract. I'd like to try and get out with it. Here, that's like uh, that's like 80k right there, dude, or something. I'm pretty sure someone was in. That's across the street. I I tagged him once. He's not dead. It's like a shoulder hit. So Dan, come. I don't know. No. That that wasn't me. Here. I, no, I I don't know. Here, come to me, Dan. Dan, come to me. 
You you got that loot? Alright, hold on. Take your flare out and aim it up a little bit. That's perfect. Just a little bit. No, I think you shot it into the roof, dude. <laughs> I don't, you'll find. I mean, you either get shot or you don't, basically. Here, come out to me. Dan, you gotta come out this far. You gotta come out real far, dude. And it's the very middle of the road, the grass in the middle. <laughs> I. You were right behind me, dude. I. I no, Dan! <laughs> Alright, I extra. You just go into the middle of the main road and then go away. Like, go past the sniper sign. And if the flare... There's the signs for the sniper. Like, it's the end of the map. So go pat... Yeah, if the flare worked, he won't shoot you. It's the way away from the mall, man. It, it's... Uh, if you come out of the mall, you take a left. Yeah, yeah. If, you, if, you, if you're coming out of the mall, like leaving the shoe store, you take a left. If you're looking at, if you're looking at the mall, take a right. Oh, you're streaming. Oh, you're streaming. Okay. Wait, are you streaming? Yeah, hang on. Yeah, so just sprint straight. Sprint straight. Exactly where you're looking. Just go. I don't know if there's a time limit on the uh, thing either, but... So just run into that middle grass and then just keep going. Nice, nice, nice. Now just lay down, lay down, lay down. Let's go prone in the grass. Sick, see? Yeah. Oh, good. I wonder, because cause I'm pretty sure your flare shot into the, like, the ceiling. <laughs> hey, man. That's all right, though. Oh, so I wonder if only one of us needs the flare, then. That would be... That's nice, if that's the case. I mean, it would make sense. I mean, they see the flare, they're going to... Right? You know? Like an account issue or something? Alright, that, that's it for my stream. Anyone watching? Sips, if you're still there, have a good night, man. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. I think I'm streaming tomorrow night, 8 to 10. And uh, take it easy. Sorry, Dustin, I just figured I'd do that.